All right. Shalom, 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 people of God. This is your Messianic pastor and prophet coming to you, um, you know, with just very powerful prophecy uh, this uh, day. Um, you know, last night, um, you know, the heavens opened up, you know, and, and I began to see the visions of God, you know, um, and, and then God directed me to uh, share this vision and, and, and prophecy uh, with his people. And, and then he referred me to, to the book of Ezekiel, you know, the, the first chapter of the book of Ezekiel, verse 1, where Ezekiel himself uh, was among the exiles in, in Babylon. And, uh, uh, you know, after the fall of, of the second temple, the, the Nebuchadnezzar came and sacked uh, the whole of Jerusalem and, you know, uh, you know uh, set the sword against so many of the Jews there. Um, and then those who are, 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 were not uh, able to, to be, you know, killed by the sword, he, uh, you know, shipped into exile in, in, a, in Babylon by, by, by the river, you know, Keba. What, what's uh, important about this, uh, uh, this particular event, you know, you know, you know uh, tragic and you know, cataclysmic uh, as it is, is, is not that, uh, uh, you know, the people were exiled. It's the it's, it's the the location of the exile that um, actually got my attention. You know, when when the heavens opened up, you know, I began to see the vision of God, and I began to you know um, you know I began to uh, ruminate and, and reminisce about what uh, my forefathers, you know, who were you know Jews originally from Nigeria, may have suffered during those exiles. You know, as an Igbo Jew. Um, we, we, we don't like to be enslaved. We don't like people, you know, trying to walk all over us. I'm sure uh, my, my great, great, great grandfathers who were exiled in Jerusalem then may have, uh, uh, may have resisted. They must have reacted to this, uh, to this siege and, and invasion by, by King Nebuchadnezzar, who wasn't, by the way, acting on his own. You know, it was God that sent him to go and teach the Jews uh, a lesson because of their disobedience, because of their idolatry, because they were they, they, they turned away from God and began to worship oracle, you know, deity, false and idol gods, and and God warned them over and over again, over and over again. But they were a stubborn nation, and and Jerusalem was uh, was utterly destroyed. Uh, if you see, uh, uh, if you read the account, which I'm going to go to in my, in my next uh, podcast of uh, uh, you know the, the Second Chronicles. Uh, uh, in, in chapter six, the, the account of the author of that of that uh, um, of that account of, of, of the destruction of the temple, uh, it, it was it was just uh, it, you know mind blowing the, the the way the way the, the, the people were were, were destroyed, uh, the young men, the women, the young women, the young uh, the the infirm, even those who could not walk, the people who were in the hospital, they were all. Uh, beheaded and and those who escaped were uh, sent to Babylon and and they, they were they were uh, 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 located at a place called River Kebor. See, so that's the uh, the subject matter of my of my presentation of my of my um, you know of, of my sermon today. Uh, they they were they were shipped to River Kebor and and what is the significance of that? You know, usually when when you somebody's being exiled. They, they usually they are usually exiled to to, 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 to a place where where they um, where they have to suffer you know some inhumane conditions they 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 will be they will be you know sent to uh, dry places or or, or places uh, of uh, brokenness but but uh, the, the the Jews uh, of uh, you know of Jerusalem were were sent to River Kebar and and why is that important uh, preacher River Kebar is a uh, is a, a, a river that was teeming with life, you know, marine life, you know. It, it has very beautiful scenery, you know. It's, it's a place where you want to go. Uh, so, so, but, but instead of, uh, the, the, you know, instead of King Nebuchadnezzar, uh, sending them to a place of brokenness, a place of dryness, they, they were housed by the river Keba. Uh, uh, so, so it was like a, a Cancun uh, vacation. It was like go, going to a vacation in some of the most exotic, exotic islands, you know. Uh, um, uh, so, so it wasn't like exile at all. And 
Uh, so, so, so what I'm trying to uh, uh, get at is that sometimes what your enemy is, is you know, thinks he's doing for evil, God is turning it around for your own good. Who will ever believe that somebody who is being exiled is being exiled by the beach, by the bank of a river? Where uh, you know you 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 can kayak, you can canoe, you can swim, you can uh, go uh, uh, you know to the beach and uh, you know sun, you know uh, you, you you know bathe yourself. You you, you know you're going to enjoy the sun, you're going to enjoy the surf, you're going to enjoy the sand. So so um, uh, you know so so I, I know that the, the the you know the people who give account of of that siege of that uh, of those deportations always focusing on the people who were exiled as if uh, it was the end of life for them. No, it was the people that, uh, that, that uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Babylonians uh, uh, you know, uh, put to death, those ones that could not escape uh, uh, you know, the siege, that uh, we should focus our attention on. Because many of them, hundreds of thousands of Jews uh, you know, were, uh, were executed. It was only those who, for some reason, escaped the sub sort that were sent into exile. And guess what? They spent 70 years and then came back to repopulate the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the city of Jerusalem. So, so while they were in exile, they, it was like a vacation for them. They, they were engaged in uh, very uh, productive uh, you know, uh, acts of human endeavor. They were uh, building businesses. They were uh, you know, developing industry. You know, because Jews are very industrious, especially the Igbo Jews, you know, who uh, our great-great-grandfathers must have been part of that exile. They, they, uh, they, they are very industrious. They were very conscientious. You know, you, you, uh, you, when you, you give them nothing, they, they, uh, they, you know, they uh, expand that nothing into something, you know. Um, you know, just like after the Nigerian Civil War, uh, the Igbo Jews were given a twenty dollar, uh, twenty naira, uh, to start life, and from that twenty naira, forty years after, they built empires, built businesses, uh, you know, developed industries and, and things like that. So the Jews have always had that, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, expectation of themselves that, uh, you know, you know, wherever they find themselves, the hand of God. Is always resting on their lives. Praise be to Elohim, uh, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Um, so, so that's uh, you know what uh, you know. The, you know when the heavens opened up last night, they, they I began to see the visions of God, and and He started giving me uh, uh, a brand new uh, angle from which uh, to see that uh, chapter of Ezekiel, the first chapter. <coughs> Excuse me, the first chapter of the book of Ezekiel, you know, where uh, Ezekiel himself uh, was seeing the vision of God, not vision from God uh, about uh, the destruction of the temple, not the synagogue, the temple. The temple, of course, represented uh, the, uh, the center of Jewish life, where they had to do their, you know, uh, bar mitzvah, their, ma uh, their weddings, uh, where they had to go and pray, they, where they had to conduct uh, animal sacrifices for God. Uh, it was, it was a, a, a very powerful place, and from what I'm reading, uh, you know, out there in Jerusalem, they're trying to uh, rebuild the temple. They're trying to build uh, a third temple. Um, but so as I was reading the account, yeah, that, that was my cell phone going on. As I was reading the account of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, you know what happened after um, uh, Cyrus, uh, the king of Persia, took over from Nebuchadnezzar, uh, where he said, <coughs> excuse me, where he said uh, <coughs> that God has appointed him to go and rebuild the temple. So I, I wasn't really sure whether or not he rebuilt it into a third temple or there was an arrested development and it didn't, uh, the rebuilding of that temple didn't take place. But I'm very glad that uh, uh, um, uh, you know, work is in progress to rebuild the temple to the third temple. I'm sure they are trying to work out the modalities for the location. And uh, they, with the hand of God resting on the Jews, uh, that temple is going to be rebuilt uh, again and uh, we'll have our place of worship in Jerusalem one more time. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the book of Ezekiel is a very powerful, uh, particularly the chapter 1, is a very powerful account of survival, how the Jews, uh, uh, you know, were sent into exile. But they ended up in a place that didn't look like, a, uh, uh, you know, that didn't feed the pot for an exile. You know, they, they were in a, the river Kebar. And, and I believe that the, the, the river must have uh, earned its name, Kebar, from a, uh, 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 from a very uh, prominent bar being run by Igbo Jews, you know, you know, by that uh, location of Babylon, you know, Keba, because the Igbo Jews like to, you know, unwind after, you know, hard day's work, you know, they really work hard for their money, and they will go to a bar, 
and then um, you know relax, have a few drink, tell a few jokes, and re reunite with their friends. And they still do that up to this day. Uh, they don't necessarily need to go to the bar to drink alcohol. They may go there to eat a fish, what they call fish pepper soup. You know, it's just fish made you know of gravy, and they enjoy it. Maybe drink a, a few a glass of a kosher wine, and then you know they relax. So so that river K bar. You know, K and Bar, B A R, uh, must have earned its name from one prominent uh, bar that was located in the in the in the area. And I, I and I, 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 you know, something tells me that that bar must have been established by an Igbo Jew because we like to uh, take nothing and build it into something. So so until I come your way again, uh, this is your uh, messianic, uh, you know, pastor and prophet uh, coming your way. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that uh, Yeshua Hamashiach will uh, continue to rest his uh, uh, unchanging hand on, on the life of Jews and Gentiles alike and everybody that uh, loves peace around the world. Till I come your way again, shalom, shalom, in Jesus' name, amen.